Hello. Hello. Hi, how are you? Hi. Hi, everyone. Hi, Mary. Hi, Jose, Rocio, Selena, Walter, Lisette. Oh, Lisette. Hi. 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 Hi, hi, Rocio. What happened yesterday? Rocio, ¿verdad que no estoy I was tired. I know. Okay, I understand. Sí, no estoy, no, no estoy. Yeah, all right. Okay, very good. But I'm happy you're here with us. Very good. <laughs> So, guys, remember that yesterday we were talking about um, indirect thank you, requests. Thank you very much. We were talking about indirect requests with uh, statements and um, what was the other one? With imperatives, right? That was that we studied yesterday. Hi, Jennifer. And we're also, today I said that we were going to study the, the rest of the other two indirect questions that we have okay so we're gonna talk about that right now just here here i just i just want to show you this so we remember that this is what we studied yesterday here okay can you see guys can you see yes okay very good so yesterday we studied i'm gonna put everybody in mute because there's a little bit of noise right now all right in case you want to say something, just unmute your uh, microphone. All right, very good. So here we have, guys, uh, we have the statements with indirect questions and imperatives with indirect questions. All right, so those, those are the ones that we studied yesterday. And then today we have to study yes, no questions and WH questions to switch them to the indirect requests, okay? So this is what we're studying today. Yes, no questions and WH questions, okay? um this is like what is on the platform but i want to show you this remember that yesterday i said that we were going to work on the presentation i don't know all right thank you all right here we have can you see my indirect polite question presentation can you see it yeah yes right. yes thank you okay thank you. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Okay, so it says indirect or polite questions, okay? Remember that this is a very polite way to ask something, okay? Or to uh, ask for requests or just like a normal question. Here we have, um, this is what I want you to do. Hold on. I want you to, can you, this is the first exercise we're, that we're going to do. Number one, um, do you earn? That's a part of the question. What would be, how can we complete the question, guys? Can you unmute your microphones if you have an idea? If instead of saying, how can we complete the question, do you earn? Jennifer, do you have an idea? If, for example, do you earn? We need to complete the question in a normal way. How would you ask that question? You said, do you earn? Uh-huh. And you said, could you? No, 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 uh, just a normal question, Jennifer, without uh, any could or would. Just like normal, um, a normal uh, question. See, if you read the instructions, it says complete the questions with one or two question words or an auxiliary verb. Okay, so we're referring about, I want to know, like, do you earn? What's the question? How, how do I ask that question? Uh, do you earn we need some money? We need something before do you earn, Jennifer, in that case. I don't understand because... Uh, yeah. Okay, uh, that's okay. That's could, okay could, could, the, the, could, could, could the, the conversation in my cell phone? All right. Yeah. I'm going to do it right, right away. Just, I just want to explain something right now. What I want us to do is I want us together to come up with the complete question, normal questions, okay? For example, if I say, um, is your name, how do we complete the question? What is your name? What is your name? Very good. Okay, so question number one, it says, do you earn? 
¿Qué necesito al principio de mi pregunta para completarla? Porque no está bien redactada ahí. Ah, ¿qué no could? No, una pregunta Whatever. normal, sin el ¿qué no el could. Cuando usted le quiere preguntar a alguien, ¿cuánto ganas? Ah, uh -huh. ¿what do you? No. ¿Cuánto ganas? How much? ¿Cuánto ganas? How much? How much, How much do you well. earn? Hasta ahí, ¿verdad? How much do you earn? Very good. Question number two. Usted conoce a alguien y dice, le pregunta, you married. ¿Cómo hacemos la pregunta completa? Are you married? Are you married? Are you married? Excellent. All right. What about number three? Look at the, at the question y termine, o, o armémosla bien porque le falta algo. Todas están al principio que le falta algo. Teacher, I, I don't have, I, I can see that questions that you, that ah, you that's said. That's what I was asking. That, I, ah, that, ah, makes, okay. that makes it difficult. All right. Okay. Sorry. I asked if you could see it and I don't know. Okay. Can you see it now? Oh, no. Yeah, ah, okay. okay. That's better. Ahí está el problema. Ah, <laughs> es que cuando okay. pregunto pueden ver y José y algunas otras caritas que vi hicieron esto. Entonces pensé que todos podíamos verlo. I'm sorry. Okay. Question number one. <laughs> okay. So we have number one. How much do you earn? Number two. Are you married? Miremos la tres. Have you been learning English? ¿Qué nos falta para completar esa pregunta? How long? How long have you been learning English? Very good. Number four. Anybody? Do you prefer? No. What? Uh, how prefer? do you prefer? No. What, what do you prefer? Or you can say what do you prefer or which do you prefer? A small which. towns or big cities? Very good. Number five. How, how tall are you? Excellent. How tall are you? Uh, very good. Number six. What kind of music? Excellent. What kind what of music do you listen to? Very nice. Number seven. Ya me había afligido, fíjense, pero hoy entendí por qué no podíamos. What religion are you? Yes. What religion? Which religion are you? Very good. Or what religion? Very good. Number eight. Do you, do, do you, you want to have children? Excellent. Do you want to have Number nine. Do you want to have When? When do you? Mm, are you sure, Walter? Did you go? No. no. Where? No. Um, um, how many? About. Casi, casi. Ya está más tibio. But do you often? How often? often? Very good. How often do you go to the cinema a year? Perfect. Okay, number 11. I mean, number 10. What advice do you listen to most? Okay, you can say what advice. Oh, which advice? Which advice? Yes, or whose advice? The quien, el consejo de quien escuchas más? Whose advice okay. do you listen to the most? Very good. Number 11. Have you ever? Have you ever said I love you? Have you ever? Very good. And the last one? And the last who one? Did you, who, who did you who, vote? Who for? did you vote for in the last in the last elections? Very good. Okay. Se estarán preguntando por qué estamos haciendo esto, all right? But tiene un propósito. Very good. Okay. So here we have, here we have the uh, questions. Ya las resolvimos. Okay. Y aquí están todas. Okay. So how much are you? How long? Which do you? Whatever. So these questions are normal questions. When I say normal questions is what I mean is direct questions. If I'm talking to Selena, I say, Selena, how much do you earn? Okay, or so if I'm talking to Walter, le digo, Walter, are you married? Or I'm talking to Lisette and I say, Lisette, how tall are you? Or I'm talking to Jennifer and I said, uh, Jennifer, okay. have you ever said I love you? Yeah. All right, or Anna, yeah. do you want to have children? Those are, or those are direct questions, okay? Huh? Now, sometimes they are proper questions to ask some people and sometimes they are not so polite, okay? For example, the, it's not, 
I mean, the first time you meet someone, you cannot say, are you married? All right, porque de repente puede haber un misunderstanding ahí, que hay un interés de por medio, all right? So, de primas a primeras, you cannot say, are you married? Or, or you cannot ask. Or, if I just met Jennifer, le digo, Jennifer, so do you want to have children? That's not a very polite way. To, I mean, that's not a very polite question, all right? So, sometimes there are some questions that we can ask anybody or sometimes there are questions that you cannot really ask because they're not very polite okay yes guys do you understand that okay okay so that takes us to indirect questions you see aquí this is indirect in brackets we have polite questions okay because they are very very polite so here that's why we have these questions just to show you that sometimes there are polite questions and sometimes we, we have questions that are not so polite. And then we have this, discuss. Selena, can you read that, please? Each of the questions you just complete Completed? will be impolite to ask someone you don't know very well. Okay, continue. Are there any you will ask a you friend? You wouldn't. You wouldn't ask a friend. Why? Which might need to ask someone? Okay. All right, thank you, Selena. I think so you're having. Going. Okay. I think your your connection your connection is breaking down. That's okay, breaking up. Okay, so it says which of these questions, the ones that we just asked, these questions, okay? Which of these questions that we just completed would be impolite to ask someone you don't know very well? All right, let's see. Rocio, if I show you these questions. And for example, you just met me, Rocio. Which, which of these questions are not very polite to ask me? Rocio, are you there? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, uh -huh. Let me, let me think. Uh-huh. Estamos en la, en la, en el... En el caso que me acaba de conocer, all right? Mm -hmm. You just met me. Uh, the first one. How, who who how did much? you vote for this? <laughs> for okay. In the last election? Okay. <laughs> yeah, maybe who did you vote for in the last election? Or maybe number one, how much do you earn? All right, very good. Another oh, yes. question, yeah? yeah? A ver, o las demás compañeros, another think. Imagínese que you just met me. All right, which one is a question that you wouldn't ask me? Are you married? Are you married? Are you married? Okay, uh -huh. another one. Oh, how much you, do you earn? Yeah, how much do you earn? That's not a very polite question. Very good, another one. Uh, which religion or what religion are you? Okay, very good, okay. Mm -hmm. Have you yeah. ever said I love you and I <laughs> meant it? Yeah, okay, very good. Another one was. How tall are you? Okay, very good. Okay, pero you se dieron cuenta because I'm very short. <laughs> All right, and Walter? Um, do, do you want to have children? Do you want to have children? All right, very good. Okay, so um, this exercise is just to know, like, to make the difference between polite and impolite questions, okay? To ask someone the first time you meet them. If we are friends, that's okay, all right? We can ask many questions, all right? Okay, so here we have, this is what I want you to uh, understand now, okay? Indirect questions are polite, longer forms of normal questions, okay? So it's okay to ask a question normal way, but it's more polite to ask this way for example where is the apart oh, sorry where is the department store question okay now when you switch it to indirect you have could you tell me where the department store is please that's an indirect question 
Notice the first question is very short, direct question, and indirect question is longer, okay? Now, yesterday we saw that we have two parts of a set of these questions. We divide them in two parts. Could you tell me, for example, all right, like the first part of the, uh, the question, where you, you can use could or would or can, or do you mind or whatever the other uh, expressions that we can use, and then the rest of the sentence of, or the rest of the question. Today, we're studying yes, no questions and WH direct questions. This one is an example of WH question words, okay? Look at my direct question. Where is the department store? In this one, you have to add the first part of my, my question, which is, could you tell me? Okay, so va siempre va junto. Could you tell me? Or can you tell me? All right, or do you know? Okay, Look, then is the rest of the, the question. Where, pasamos este where para acá, el mismo. Después de la expresión hasta aquí. Could you tell me? Luego pasamos eso para acá. Where. La diferencia es where the department store is. El is pasa al end. Here is right after the WH question word. You understand that? So we yeah. need to make yeah. the switch. You cannot say, could you tell me where is, the, uh, where is the department store? No, that's not a proper question. Could you tell me where the department store is? El is va al final, en el verbo be. Ok, ojo, aquí estamos usando el verbo be. El verbo be pasa al final. Y le funciona, mami. ¿Cómo? Le funciona, Neta, pero funciona. Ok, very good. What is his name? Tenemos what is his name. That's a direct question. A ver, ¿quién quiere para, para, para pasarla en indirect question? Could you tell me? Uh -huh. Could you tell me what his name is perfect very good could you tell me what his name is excellent well done very good excellent or do you know La, el inicio de su pregunta ayer les enseñé a los compañeros varias formas de hacer las preguntas y hoy ya las vamos a volver a ver pero pues, cambian entre uh, could you tell me do you know uh, can you tell me do you mind all right there are many many ways all right depending on who you're asking okay Indirect questions are form of two parts, lo que le decía, all right? A polite expression and a question which has no subject or like a normal question, no, no se le da vuelta, all right? Como siempre, where is the bathroom? You say where the bathroom is, le damos el is va al final. What is his name? Do you know what his name is, okay? Here, the polite expression is, do you know? And the question part is, what his name is? Note that the subject and verb have no change place in the question part. So if you said, do you know what is his name? It's not correct. Y lo que hizo la compañera, ¿verdad? Puso el is al final, all right? Porque se la, el, el is no es el final de la, de la pregunta, all right? So you have to remember, para hacer indirect questions or indirect requests, necesitamos two parts. All right, a polite expression and then the question or the rest of the question, okay? Vamos jugando cómo van las, las posiciones, van cambiando de algunas cosas. Another example. What's the time? Do you know or do you have any idea what the time is? Aquí estamos con las WH questions, lo que está en la plataforma, all right? The polite expression is, do you have any idea? And the question is, what the time is, all right? No podemos decir, uh, what is the time? You don't invert the subject and the verb like a normal question. Si yo le digo, uh, okay, let's see. Necesito un voluntario ahorita. José, very good, José. <laughs> yo le digo, José, where are you? Okay? This is my direct question. La misma pregunta, Jose, but indirect question. Yo le pregunté, where are you? Uh, could you tell me where do you are? Where? Where do you are? No, do. Where... Listen to my question. I said, where are you? Could you tell me? Uh, Estamos bien, ajá. Uh -huh. Where? 
Where? Where do you eat? No, no, no. Estaba bien. Casi, casi le pegaba. <laughs> Listen to my question, Jose. Where are you? Where do I? Where, Where do you are? are? Where you are? Very good. Yes. Could you tell me? Where you are. All right. Mi pregunta original a José es, where are you? ¿Cierto? Usted me, me llama y me dice, Jessica, where are you? ¿Sí? Pero digamos, no nos hemos conocido nunca y usted nos vamos a conocer. Y me dice, excuse me, can you tell me where you are? Porque le doy, le, lo, le doy vuelta. Ya no digo where are you, sino que where you are. El are va al final. ¿Ya? No le meto el do porque mi pregunta original no es el do. ¿Ya? Ok, that's ok, very good. Ok, listen to this, auxiliary verb do. Y again, eh, again guys, le voy a, a subir esa presentación al grupo, ok? Auxiliar, auxiliary uh, verb okay. do. The auxiliary verb to do is using questions when there is no other auxiliary verb. For example, you like Chinese food. Do you like Chinese food? This is like normal question. In your question, do not use the auxiliary verb to do in the main question. When does the next train arrive? That's a direct question. In the indirect question, le ponemos, do you know when, necesitamos la WH question word, is when the next train arrives. Si se fija, el das aquí, the direct question ya no está aquí en el indirect question. Y como ya no hay el do y el das Disappear. acá, it, it disappears. And because it disappears, the verb takes the S. Acuérdese que aquí cuando yo le digo, do you know? Esa es mi, mi, mi polite expression. ¿Ok? El when, donde empieza el when, es mi, la, la segunda parte de mi pregunta, ¿ok? Pero ahí ya desaparece el das. Y como desaparece el das y está en presente simple, mi verbo necesita la inflexión, necesita el cambio. ¿Ya? Yeah? ¿You understand? Yes. ¿Ya? Yeah? Yeah. Ok, mire acá. Yes. Do you know when does the next dream arrive? Esto está completamente incorrecto. All right, el does en la, in, el, ni el do ni el does en indirect question. Quiere decir tampoco ni el did, ni ningún tiempo verbal va a ir. Si lo pongo en pasado, si aquí dijera, do you know when the next train, uh, do you know, sorry. Uh, sorry, when did the next train, like, when did the next train leave? The train leave, all right. Si lo paso al pasado, entonces mi verbo va a pasar al pasado en la indirect question, porque ya no llevo auxiliar, ¿ya? Ese es el juego que tengo que hacer. Si con el, el verbo vi lo paso al final, con los presentes y pasados, omito el auxiliar y el verbo recibe el cambio, ¿ya? Ok. ¿Ya? understand? ¿Ya? Yeah? Ok. Mire abajo, when does the restaurant close? Direct question. Could you tell me when the restaurant closes? All right, porque como omití el das, ¿ya? Entonces mi verbo regresa a tercera persona singular, ¿ok? Yes, guys. Hola, hola. Yes. Yeah, yeah? all right, very good. Ok. Esta era yes, no question. Uh, yeah, sorry, WH questions, ¿ok? Las que acabamos de ver. Las otras que nos faltaban, yes, no. Pasan a ser if or whether en las indirect questions. Do you have questions hasta ahorita? Do you have any questions right now, guys? Enough for the moment. Enough for the moment. Very good. All right. Very good. Okay. Teacher. Uh, yes. Repeat, please, uh, the verbs in the direction or indirection. In the question. In the indirect in question. Okay, yes. okay, so you have to remember, eh, Anna was asking me. Yes. Okay, Anna, you have to remember that you have to, when you switch, when you make a switch from direct questions to indirect questions, you need to pay attention to the tense of the verb, okay? Okay. For example, Anna, if, you, if we, here we have, 
when does the next train arrive? The first thing you have to do is to say, ah, okay, so this is simple present, my direct okay. question. Okay, a step mm -hmm. number two, when I switch it to indirect, I have to start my question with a polite expression. Do you know, can you tell me, could you tell me, whatever, all right? So that's my first part. In this case, we're using, do you know? Right after that expression, Anna, you need a, the WH question. What, when, where, whatever you're using, okay? After that, think? Anna, yes, after that, you omit the auxiliary, okay? Mm -hmm. But because you already recognize that it was simple present, you know that your verb at the end of the question has to have the inflection or has to have the change, okay? Because okay. you identify at the very beginning that this was simple present, you know that when you omit the auxiliary, the verb needs to have the S, okay? okay. Anna, for example, instead of saying did, for example, I said, when did you eat? Yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay. And then that's the normal question. I say, do you know when you ate? Yeah? Because I omitted the did. Okay? okay. Si yo le digo, when did you eat? Or oh, let's say, where did you eat? Okay, cambiemos el where. Where did you eat? Es, that question is in simple present, simple past. Simple past. Simple past. past. Very good, because I have the did. Where did you eat? Cuando la paso mm -hmm. al indirect question, voy a omitir el did. Quiere decir que mi verbo lo voy a pasar al pasado. Okay. Yeah? So I said, do you know where you ate? Uh, okay. El pasado del eat. Okay. Yeah? Entonces okay. yo tengo que jugar yes. y tengo, lo primero que ustedes tienen que hacer es identificar el tiempo verbal de su pregunta directa. Directa. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Que es la normal, digamos. En la, por ejemplo, aquí, when does, sí. ¿verdad? Entonces, identifique el tiempo verbal. Okay. Lo segundo que tiene que hacer es agregar la, ex, la polite expression. Ya le voy a dar unas que son varias al final. En este caso estamos con el do you know. ¿Verdad? Uh -huh. Después de eso, usted tiene que agregar la WH question que están usando, ya sea when, where, what, who, which, why, no importa, la que esté usando en su pregunta directa. Después de eso, okay. ya no necesito auxiliar. No en mi pregunta indirecta. Y como omito mi auxiliar, eso tiene, me obliga a mí a usar el verbo en el tiempo verbal que mi pregunta tiempo. directa estaba. All right. Si okay. estaba en presente, entonces por eso aquí le agrego S al verbo, ¿verdad? Porque aquí digo das, y yo sé que do y das es para presente simple. Ya, uh -huh. si aquí tuviera el did, yo automáticamente sé que eso es pasado. Entonces mi verbo es pasado. Ok. ¿Eh? Si estuviera en futuro, <risa> mi verbo es okay. en futuro. Entonces ahí tengo que irme fijando. Por eso les digo, el primer paso es fijarme el tiempo verbal de mi pregunta directa. Directa. Uh -huh. Ya con o eso, sea, teacher, ya. ¿sí? O sea, teacher, que digamos, cuando usted dice, where do you eat, uh -huh. eh, para hacerlo indirecto sería, could you tell me where you ate? Excelente. Okay. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Yo le digo, José dijo algo, ¿no? Y yo le digo, ¿qué dijo José? Puede decir, a ver, ah, que aquí le pregunta a alguien que esté calladito ahorita. Lisette Padilla. Yo le digo, Lisette, ¿puede decirme qué, jo, qué dijo José? Hágame esa pregunta. Ah, ¿Quiere que sea la indirecta? Sí, te, haga sí. la indirecta, porque yo le digo, eh, what did José ¿Qué? say? Ese sería, right? Can you tell me Ajá. What, what José said? Excellent, very good, excellent. Can you tell me what Jose said? Si se fijaron, ella omitió el did, porque mi pregunta directa era, what did he say? Or what did Jose say? All right, ella quitó, agregó el, do, uh, could you tell me, creo que dijo, could you tell me what, verdad, el what sigue, what Jose said? ¿Por qué said? Porque le quitó el did, y le pasó el verbo al pasado simple. Por eso es ese cambio. All right? Ana, you understand better? 
Yes, yes. Okay. Thank very you good. so much. Yeah, you're yeah, very welcome. Any other questions, uh, guys? Do you have any other questions? Alguien que se le ha todavía quedado así como que mm, no entienden mucho. Waltercito, ¿cómo está? ¿Está bien? Uh, okay, teacher. Okay, very good. Mm, vale. Okay. <laughs> Jennifer, questions? No, teacher. Okay, very good. Gerardo, Selina, Norma. No, thanks. Okay, all right. Norma, no, no sé que vive en Santa Ana. Hola. Tenga cuidado, Normita. Dice que se le corta un poquito, pero, pero espero que se, se cuida. No ande saliendo para nada, Norma. Sí, no, si ahorita aquí he estado guardada. Ah, vaya, ok. Ok. All right, sigamos entonces para distraernos un poquito. Very good. Okay. We have yes, no. Yes, no questions. Todo esto, niños y niñas, es lo mismo de la plataforma, solo que como desglosado, ¿verdad? Tenemos el okay. yes, no questions. Ok, vamos acá. Y decimos, eh, if a question requires a yes, no answer, we must use if or whether. Las dos quieren decir sí. Pero no sí de afirmación, sino que si yo fuera tal persona. All right? Between the polite question and the actual question part. Oh, perdón. That was a big, big uh, caña de azúcar truck. <laughs> Do you have a driving license? Esa es la pregunta original. Do you have a driving license? Yes, I do. No, I don't. La paso y la pongo. I would like to know. Or do you know, or could you tell me if or whether? Usted puede usar if o puede usar whether, el que se le acuerde más fácil. Cuando, es que cuando ocupo whether, it's up to you. All right, por eso no se complique. Si el if le, fal, le sale más fácil, diga if. Si usted se recuerda de whether, diga whether. Ok, entonces es uno o el otro, no van a poner los dos. No van a andar diciendo, if, I would like to know if whether you have a driving license. All right, it's uno o el otro. Okay, have you been at your current company for a long time? Would you mind telling me if, or would you mind telling me whether you have been at your current company for a long time? Voy a volver a poner el micrófono porque hay una gran... Okay. All right, okay. All right, let's continue here. All right. Okay, so here, guys, if you notice, lo que estamos haciendo, agregándole el if y el whether, entre la polite expression and the, and the question part. Ahí ven medio. So I would like to know if you have a driving license. El mismo tiempo verbal que está aquí, lo pongo para acá, pero obviamente le quité el do, ¿verdad? Ya no lo ocupo. I would like to know if you have a... Entonces agarro de mi pregunta directa desde el pronombre. Ya no ocupo el auxiliar, ¿ya? Y lo demás me queda igual. Lo mismo que tengo aquí, lo tengo acá, ¿ya? You notice that, guys? Ok. So, in this sí. one, ¿cuándo ocupo el if or weather? Cuando mi pregunta... Va a tener como respuesta o un sí o un no. ¿Ya? Yeah? All right. So that's, that's, it's not very complicated. El otro es un poquito más complicado porque hay que ver el tiempo verbal de mi primera frase o de mi primera pregunta. En este caso solo lo agarro y lo pongo. All right. Necesito entender que el if o el whether va entre medio de mi, time, mi polite expression y el rest of the question. Ahí va. ¿Ok? Ahora, estas que están aquí. Son las que les enseñaba ayer a los compañeros, pero igual les dije que ahora las vamos a volver a ver. Polite expressions, there are infinitive, or infinite, sorry, infinite ways to make an indirect question. Not all indirect questions are questions, but they are polite statements, which encourage a response. 
Some common polite expressions include, hay más, no solo se limiten a eso, pueden encontrar muchas más, no solo digan, ah, no, solo esas son, hay más. I wonder if, I wonder whether, I can remember if or whether, could or can you tell me, would you mind telling me, all right? Y por eso se acuerdan la previa clase que decíamos, would you mind, right? Usando el gerundio o usando los demás que, que vimos en esa clase. Are you any idea? Would it be possible for you to? Is there any chance you could? I don't suppose you could. I would like to know. All right. Or do you know? Or can you tell me? Las más usadas o las más fáciles son can you tell me? Could you tell me? I would like to know. Do you know? Y las demás que están ahí que les queda para que ustedes se las aprendan y las puedan usar. All right. Okay. Voy a mandar. Es, oops. Eh, voy a mandar esa presentación as soon as we finish. Ok, guys. Hello, hello. Okay. Teacher. <laughs> you guys are very cool. Teacher. Yes, please it. Puede mandar la presentación de ayer, por favor, también. Ah, sí, claro. Sí, sí, sí. Eh, sí. Gracias. Ya. Yeah. Ok, a ver, quiero ver una cosa acá. Permítame, deme one second. Ok, veamos. Hoy va a ser más de, de teoría que de práctica, mis niños, y mañana practicamos, no se preocupe. Igual terminamos la, 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 la sección. All right, quiero ver esto. Just give me a second here. Here you go. Esa también se la voy a mandar. All right, it says indirect questions. Eso es lo, lo que nos ayuda nada más es como entenderlo mejor. All right, indirect questions. How do you make indirect questions? When do you use this, gra use this grammar? Okay, indirect questions have the same function as regular questions. Usted puede perfectamente preguntarle a Walter, Walter, um, do you have money? All right, o le digo, Walter, I was wondering if you have money. All right, le puedo hacer la pregunta indirecta o la pregunta directa and it's okay. Lo que pasa es que las indirectas son un poco más, ¿verdad? más polite. Ok, pero igual hay preguntas que usted no las hace de primas a primeras. All right, but the grammar is a little bit different. Ok, here are some examples. Veamos, regular questions. What will the weather be like tomorrow? Y dice, I, wa I wonder what the weather will be like tomorrow. Ok, so here we have the same. También el I wonder es una forma eh, polite de hacer una request o una pregunta. All right, why were you absent yesterday? Esa le pude haber hecho a Rocío. Rocío, why were you absent yesterday? O le pude haber dicho a Rocío, can you tell me why you were absent yesterday? Okay? Then we have, where is the bookstore? Do you know where the bookstore is? El va al final. Okay? This grammar starts with an introductory clause, o lo que le, lo decía yo anteriormente son las polite expressions. Introductory clause es como más gramaticalmente hablando, gramaticalmente hablando, all right? Pero le puede llamar eh, polite expression si es la misma. This is a main clause. It can be a sentence or a question. Usted puede decir, tell me, do you know, can you tell me, do you have any idea, I wonder, I need to know, o las otras que ya les mencioné en la, en la otra presentación. I would like to know. When the bus arrives, ve, el, el arrives está con S aquí porque en la, in, in la direct question ha de haber sido obviamente en presente simple. Tell me where Susan is. No, where is Susan, ¿verdad? Where Susan is. I need to know how much the book cost, ¿ok? Otra vez acá, el verbo está en presente simple. Quiere decir que mi pregunta original o en mi pregunta directa tuvo, tuvo que haber usado el das, ¿ok? Do you know, con yes, no questions, can you tell me if we have a test today? Can you tell me whether Susan is sick? Do you have any idea if it's going to rain? All right, so here we have the yes, no questions and the if and whether questions. Indirect WH questions have a dependent clause beginning, that begins, sorry, with a WH word. Who, what, when, where, why, how, cualquiera de las WH questions. Can you tell me who won the game? Esa pregunta, Gerardo, ¿en qué tiempo verbal? No, Gerardo, hágame esa pregunta directamente, no indirecta. Indirecta ya está hecha por usted. ¿Cómo pudo haber sido directa? 
who who wins the game. En presente simple. Yes. Uh, who is who is one or who who was won the it's game? Win. All right. Who did like who did win the game or who won the game? All right, because we're using who. Right? Win. And 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 simple past. All right. What about this one? Uh, Norma, I'd like to know when she left. Hágame esa pregunta directa, Normita. Norma, uh -huh, that's okay. Norma, I would like to know when she left. Eso ya está en indirect question. ¿Cómo ha de haber sido directa? Is future. I don't know. You tell me, Norma. Is it future? I like, no, I like to know when she left. Ajá, uh -huh. esa es la indirecta. ¿Cómo ha de haber sido directamente? Um, I know when she left. Do you know? No, quítele toda la 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 expresión de la expresión. Directa. Ajá. Solo directamente. When she left. No. When she left. No. When she left. No. Niños y niñas. When she left. When did she leave? Ay, ¿quién dijo eso? Excellent. When did she leave? All right, no me preocupen. When did she leave? Very good, all right. Para que indirectamente le agregue. I would like to know when she left. El left me quedó porque en la pregunta directa estaba el did leave. Pero como aquí omití el auxiliar did, entonces mi verbo regresa a la forma pasada. ¿Ya? Ya. Yeah. Tienen que jugar con los tiempos verbales, all right? Directas e indirectas, ¿ok? Pero vamos bien, no se preocupe. Mañana vamos a tener plenty of time to practice. Mañana de todo un poco. Indirect, yes, no. Questions have a dependent clause that begins with if. If or whether. Ok, whether, pues podríamos decir que es más formal, pero igual, usted puede usar cualquiera de los dos. Can you tell me whether the charger, uh, the charger's won? I would like to know if she passed the test. Ok, here we have, you can use an indirect question anytime you use a regular question. Indirect questions are often more polite because they have a polite introductory clause. Could you tell me, do you know? Ok. Vamos a ver, vamos a hacer esta práctica ahora. Tome, can, can you take a picture of this right now, please? Guys, finish. Yes. Yeah. Okay, very yes. good. Okay. So let's go to your groups right now. All right, go to your groups right now and do the um do the uh work right now, guys. Okay, so fíjese cómo está ahí y abajo le están pidiendo que polite expression tiene que usar. Y vaya fijándose cómo la tiene que armar. Todas tienen que pasar a indirect questions. Ok. All right. Yes.
asking direct question direct in indirect, indirect question. question. For the slide, yes, Flex, uh, dash no, if weather. Okay. For that? No. No. I, okay. I will share my desk. Okay. Uh, okay, thank you. Do you see my desktop? Yes. Yes, okay. The number one is where is the restroom? This is the direct question. Mm -hmm. And uh, we need to to write these sentences in sentence in indirect question. And use do you know, for example, uh, do you know where the restroom is? Excellent, David. Very good. Well done. Okay. okay. And Selena, could you uh, say the say the second one? Excellent, David. You're using indirect question. Could you? <laughs> Very good. Selena or Norma? The okay, second. I, I, the second. Where did Janet go? Mm -hmm. Can you tell me where go? No. Where you tell me? Mm -hmm. Janet. Where you tell me she 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 was. Mm, I think is can can you tell me where Janet went? Excellent. All right. Norma, you have, yeah, Norma, you have to remember that after the polite expression, can you tell me, right after that, you need automatically, Normita, you need the WH question. Can you okay. tell me where? Say, if we had a what, we said what. Si dice when, we said when. Si dice why, we said why. Exactamente después de la expresión. Primera, all right, can you tell me? Exactamente después va la WH question. Después de esa va el sujeto. Can you tell okay. me where Janet or she or he or you or David, all right? Can you tell me where Janet? Y como aquí en mi pregunta directa estaba usando el did, all right? En la indirecta lo mismo. Y pongo uh -huh. este verbo en pasado. El go me pasa a went. A went. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Very good. Yeah. Okay. Then. Uh... Hi, Jose. Hi, Jenny. How are you doing? Finished? I finished. I finished. Yes, Excellent. we finished. Excellent. Tell me the questions. Number one, Jose, please. Do oh, you okay. know where the... <laughs> we have to know where the restroom is. Perfect. Number one. Yes. Number two, Jenny. Can you tell me where Janet went? Perfect. Number three, Jose. Do you have any idea when our winter break is? Perfect. Uh huh. I'd like to know why she left. Perfect. Uh huh. I wonder who the dean of ECC is. Very good. Yay, guys. Very nice. Well done. Super well done. Thank you, Thank teacher. You. All right. Let me go check uh, two more groups, okay? Okay, okay teacher. And number three. Mm -hmm. Hi, Lisette. Hi, Anna. How are you doing? Hi. You finished? Okay. Good. Uh, yes, yes, but uh, only, only we different. are saying it. Or no, you didn't yeah. write it. No. Uh, it's only three. Okay, that's okay. Can you do the first one for me? Where is the bathroom? Okay. Yes, see. Uh, do you know where the bar the restaurant is? Okay, very good. What about number two? Me, me, the number two. Sure. Uh huh. Uh, can you tell me where Janet went? 
Very good. Nice. Very good. What about the next one, Anna? And number three. Do you have any idea our winter break is? When? When our when. winter break is? Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. What about number four? Do you have number four? Yes. I would like to know why she left. She left. She left. Sorry. Yeah. Very good. That's okay. Left. And the last one, Anna. I wonder to know. Who the then of e is a c c is? Yeah, I wonder who the dean of e c c is. Very good, nice. E c c, yes. Yes, very good. Well done. Yeah, very nice. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Okay. Hi, Mary. Hi, Walter. Hello. Are you finished? Yes. All right, very good. Did you, do you have any questions or do you have any problems with it? No, but what is Dean of a ECC? Dean is decano and ECC del nombre de algún lugar. Oh, uh, okay. Like a Dean of the decano. decano, huh? Dean of the university of whatever university or whatever um, school. Okay. All right, very good. Okay. We're gonna go back right now so we can check it together, all right? Okay. okay. All right, guys, I think everybody's back with us. So let's try to do this together. Let's see, just to check it. Gerardo, can you do number one? Where is the restroom? Yes, where is the restaurant? Do you know where the restaurant is? Do you know where the restroom is? Very good, thank you. Uh, let's see, Mary, can you do number two? Yes. Uh, can you tell me where Janet went? Excellent, very good. Janet went, very good. Uh, Jennifer Acosta, can you do number three? Do you have any idea when our winter break is? Perfect, Selena, number four? And why she left. Yeah, I'd like to know why she left. And the last one, Rocio. Rocio, can you do the yes. last one first? Uh, yes, thank you. Yeah. Yeah. I wonder who the dean of ECC is. Perfect, very good. All right. Okay, guys, very good. Well done. What is so, the what is what is the dean of Dean is the cano. Oh. And ECC el nombre de alguna institución educativa. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Very good. Yeah, you're welcome. All right. Very good, guys. So we are gonna finish right now. So tomorrow we're gonna practice a little bit more with this topic. All right, and then we're gonna move on with section number four. All right, remember that we have this, I mean, tomorrow's the last day of this week, and then we have the next week and we're finished. Okay, so we have to like, we're, we're, we're okay, don't worry. About it, okay? All right, guys, so I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Yes? See you tomorrow, teacher. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Good night. Bye bye. Bye bye. Thank Jennifer, you. Jennifer, you were gonna say something? Yes. Uh, how do you do? Which are uh, the new new level because uh, mm -hmm. because in my company don't work. You know what, uh, Jennifer? To be honest, I don't know yet. Okay. Uh, yeah, in our okay. company there's nobody either. So I mean, they're working from home. So we need to find out, but don't worry about it. I think they're gonna come up with a solution, okay? So the okay, idea teacher. is for you to finish all the platforms so you're ready to start the next level, either if it's gonna be like right away or if we have to wait a little bit until the quarantine is over, okay? Okay, teacher. Right. Thank you. All right, guys. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow. See you.